comes to our loved ones, people that we love, we tend to get on the defensive because we want them to see us in a good light. I know what that's about. However, you have to think about it. Is this person really trying to hurt me? Is this person really trying to upset me? Is this person trying to make me feel bad? Really think about that. Nyla, co-founder of Outstanding Personal Relationships, as well as co-author of the book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. Now, I have a question for you. Have you ever been in a, have you ever been in a moment where you're communicating with someone and they said something and it got to you, like really got to you, like you felt it in your chest and you just wanted to tell them about themselves or you just wanted to pretty much let them know that they weren't quite right about the stuff that they said about you, even though that wasn't the whole purpose of the conversation. Here's the, here's what I mean. You're having a conversation. It has nothing to do about how a person feel about you or you feel about them or anything like that. However, they may say something like, well, you know, it reminds me of the time when you did blah, blah, blah. And then you say, hold up. I only did that because such, 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 you know, type of thing. And you were justifying why you did what you did. Do you find yourself from time to time feeling like you have to justify your actions, your thoughts, anything in your conversations, whether it's with your spouse, whether it's with your family, whether it's with friends? How can we communicate without being defensive? How can we communicate without being defensive? I realize that's the downfall. That's a challenge, a major challenge in many relationships. For one, it's communication. It's lack of communication. It's crappy communication. It's all of that. However, being defensive in the way we communicate and how we communicate is one of the biggest problems I've seen in communication. I've also found it to be a problem in mine, and I had to change that. Because you... Even when you're dealing with your loved ones, you may be dealing with some loved ones and they're just saying some things and they may have just said something and it doesn't even, it's, you, they may have said something and you may have not needed to take it in the way that you took it, but for some reason you did. And later on after that conversation, you said, you know what? It wasn't that serious, but it blew up into something else. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. Okay, so one day my mom, and my sister kind of got into kind of a little spat, I guess. It wasn't even really much of a spat. They had this family game thing or whatever, and they went to play some soccer or kickball. I think it was some kickball match. It doesn't matter what game it was. <laughs> they just did a family thing. And some of the family members were able to show up, but it got to the point where my, my sister's husband was on my mom's team, and then there was other people on my sister's team. And everything was done fairly, like the way it was picked, everything like that. It was fine. However, my sister's um, husband, it seemed as though he was sabotaging the team so he wouldn't have any issues with his wife later on. You know, let me know in the comments if you guys ever experienced something like that or if you've seen something like that happen. Uh, where someone just to not have issues with their spouse decided to just sabotage some things um, that they're a part of or that sabotage something that they want to have. Have you ever sabotaged something that you wanted in order to not have any you know, issues with your spouse? Let me know in the comments. Anywho, what happened was that my mom had to make a comment about it. She was like, you know what, look, maybe you should just go, you know, on the same team as your wife if you're going to sabotage, you know, the game and everything like that. She just wanted to have fun, have a family get together, do this thing, but it was these issues. So when my mom made mention of that, 
my sister got defensive and the game pretty much went sour. My, my mom said that she just was still going to have fun and everything like that. And she did have fun and she'll do it again. She said, but my sister really took it to the next level and just didn't want to play anymore or got upset because it, it, the, because it shifted. It shifted from they were winning at first and then they started losing and then all these other rules start coming up. It was just really crazy. But the defensiveness was there. And I know that. I know my sister. It happens from time. It happens more often than we would like to admit, but it happens. But that's with all of us. I know one point in time you can look back and say, you know what? I blew something out of proportion that I didn't mean to. And I should have listened to what was said. So how do we communicate without being defensive? And then, you know, long story short about what happened with my family and everything like that. My sister apologized to my mom later and realized that she was wrong. That's another video for another time when I talk about how it's really difficult for people to apologize and how to make it a little bit easier to admit when you're wrong, even when you don't feel that you're wrong. Because when it comes down to it, we all have our parts that we play in how things happen. So that's another video for another time. However, how do you communicate without feeling defensive? How can you do that? First and foremost, really listen to the conversation. And if you feel yourself getting defensive, ask the, the person, because maybe if you feel yourself getting defensive, ask the person what they mean by what they said. Also, look at it as look at the person you know the person if you know the person usually we get a get very defensive when it comes to those that we love those that we care about those who know us everybody else we say oh i don't care about that person i don't care what that person think about me i don't care about what that person says about me however when it comes to our loved ones people that we love we tend to get on the defensive because we want them to see us in a good light i know what that's about however you have to think about it. Is this person really trying to hurt me? Is this person really trying to upset me? Is this person trying to make me feel bad? Really think about that. If that's the case, then it's like, why am I communicating with this person in the first place? Stop the communication. You have that opportunity. You have that power to say, you know what? This is going a certain type of way and I don't like it. You know, or I'm starting to feel some type of way. You know, maybe we can communicate about it later. But right now, it's not a good time. Or I feel like you're throwing shots at me. Is that what it is? The thing is, we need to be honest. And we need to be responsible. Yes, I will say we need to be. We must be. I will say those things because we're talking about having outstanding relationships. And there are some, there are some points and some things you have to have in place in order to be that outstanding. You have to. So, I, I won't say, well, you know, like I said, you can do whatever you want, but if this comes, when it comes to being outstanding, there are certain rules in place. There are certain steps you have to take. And, a, and one of those steps is being responsible. Responsible for your actions, your feelings, your desires, your thoughts, all those things. And the other one is being able to properly communicate and being able to be courageous in your communication. Yes, you may not want to hurt someone's feelings or you don't. You may not want to cause the drama or the conflict or you don't want any of that conflict to con continue on, but it's not okay for you to hold things in if you feel a certain type of way. And I'm speaking from experience because I am a pleasing type. That is my personality. And I don't like drama. I don't like conflict. I'm not saying that there are people that just love conflict, but there are people out there that do. But there are some people that they don't like conflict, but they're not going to be a pushover or they're not going to allow people to just tell them what they feel and they're not going to say anything, you know, to combat it. And sometimes it's just not worth it. So you also have to ask yourself that. Is it worth it? In order to have proper communication or communication without being defensive, you have to ask yourself the adult questions, the intelligent questions, 
the mature questions and answer them truthfully. Could I have taken this the wrong way? Maybe I'll just listen more. And then when I need to speak, I'll say what I feel without throwing shots. That's the art of being able to communicate effectively and properly. So let me know down in the comments if you've had some issues with being defensive in your communication. If you have gotten this far, make sure you put a muscle emoji in there because sometimes we want to flex our muscles when it comes to our communication and getting our point across. So if you made it this far, put a little muscle emoji um, in the comments and let us know, you know, have you ever dealt with anything like that? And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe because I feel a, I found out half of the people who watch our video have not subscribed to our channel yet. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be part of the notification gang and get notified on when we release videos, which is every week. And until next time, make sure you are growing intentionally, loving fearlessly, and connecting on a higher level every single day. Until next time, assalamu alaikum. Here are three ways outstanding personal relationships can help you. Make sure you guys are following us on our social medias at Outstanding Personal Relationships on YouTube and Facebook and on IG at Outstanding Relationships and also Clubhouse under our names. And make sure you go to OutstandingPersonalRelationships.com and sign up for our email list. And there you will get updates on our new book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. Absolutely. And... Last but not least, when it comes to coaching or counseling, if you want to work with us one-on-one -on -one or in group settings, make sure you're on that website and reach out to us because we do have very limited spots and we like usually have a wait list. So with that being said, GLC. Make sure you're growing intentionally. Loving fearlessly. And connecting on a higher level every, every single, single day. day. Stone Lake. Peace. Peace.